Oh, please. Here you go. The waiter has returned, bearing two tall and thick tankards foaming at the brim. Beer, right? I know more of vodka and wines. One is placed in front of Cyrus and the other in front of me. Enjoy. It leaves, I peek over my cup's lip and peer into its mouth. The beverage does not take kindly to my curiosity, bubbling and spitting at me. I withdraw with a start. How intimidating. Sir? Don't be such a baby, it won't kill you. There'll be much worse things you'll have to swallow than alcohol, trust me. It sounds as though Cyrus is perfectly fine with bending over should the situation demand it. Interesting things like this. Or ingesting things like this. Ingesting things worse than this? Allow me to apologize, Cyrus, but I am not a wimp. I know where to draw the line. It is quite the opposite of weakness, really. It's strength. No one is going to be forcing me to do anything I don't agree to. That said, I did say I would drink some of this. Lifting the glass with both hands, I gingerly tip it toward my lips and take in a mouthful. Oh, oh heavens, I do not want to drink this. I swish the liquid a bit, and as it mixes with my saliva, it seems very viscous even, or nearly viscous even. I want to ret. This is simply the worst thing I have ever put in my mouth. Atrocious! It bullies the back of my throat with a sizzling, no, a burning sensation that has spread throughout my entire oral cavity. The ordeal lasts less than ten seconds before I stop thinking and just swallow it. Blech. <laughs> oh god, no, wow, really? The sound effects, I can't do the sound effects! <laughs> to be completely honest, oh, come on. Goosebumps ripple across my skin, and my eyes water. The beer drains down my esophagus, raising everything in its descent. <coughs> this is disgusting. Cyrus proceeds to drain half his glass with a speed rivaling my mother's and an expression just as insensible. It amazes me that he can stomach it, and even more that he's willingly subjecting himself to it. <coughs> this is pretty good, actually. Best I've had in a while. You're joking. That was worse than what I imagined piss to taste like. And the sensation. Everything about it, it's just... It's disgusting. Honestly, I find myself at a loss for words here. This beverage is just nasty. Finish that glass and we'll move along. I am not finishing this. Do it. Do it. I mock him. Don't take that tone, just finish your glass. Finish my glass? I let my hands drop with gravity, my cup crashing onto the table. This? This is what you want me to finish? Then Cyrus? Who am I? Who I am quickly losing respect for? I will drink this mug, and in fact finish it, if you do one thing for me in the future. Pardon? It isn't loud in here, Cyrus. I know that you heard me. Well then, what do you want me to do? Nothing now. The future is not now. Now is the present. The future is later, and I will tell you then. You're sure you're not drunk, Winter? Hush. Fine. You'll have your way if you'll have... You'll have your way if you'll have mine, Winter Harrison. It is a deal you cannot break, sir. With that, I drain my glass in a matter of seconds using a technique I have observed over the years. When I set it down, there is naught but suds. Cyrus is impressed. I am appalled. Oh, this is so nasty. I squeeze my eyes shut and let the wave of warm and trembling feelings wash over me. Ugh. Mercy, Winter. That was something else. How are you feeling? I answer him with a stare and a shiver. Really? I shake my head. Honestly, now that the wretched experience of an instant is over, I realize I was overreacting. While certainly vile, it doesn't seem to be immediately damaging. And it looks like it will take more than one beer to impair my judgment. Either that or this stuff's effects are simply delayed. I am fine, I think. Ah, you should be. Yes, I don't really. I realize I might have spoken too soon as I suddenly feel a bit as though I'm glowing. It's not a terrible feeling, and I seem to still be myself. All is in order. I don't feel much different at all. Give it some time. You didn't really drink too much, anyway. 
There's usually, there usually isn't a whole lot of alcohol in beer. Wonderful. Both of my theories are true. Okay, so what now? Now, we begin conversing. Cyrus discreetly points to a man in the corner. I'm going to talk to that man. You take the one at the counter. Try bringing up work and going on from there. Oh, and of course, don't forget to keep where we're from and why we're here a secret. That kind of bartering chip shouldn't even be allowed to you kids. I'm going to talk to him alone? Well, yes, I think it would make him pretty uncomfortable to have both of us ganging up on him. Oh, I don't know about this. Don't worry, the bartender is right there and I am not far either. Nothing will happen to you. It's not that. I'm just not very good at talking to people. You're doing fine with me. You're my superior. Just go over there and give it a try. Fine. I get out of my seat and immediately yank at the table's edge as the floor shifts. Oh no. My knees quiver with fear and I firmly plant my feet, my heart thumping like I'm about to die. Gracious, what was that? I don't know why I say gracious like that. Okay, whatever. Did something happen? Have we failed? <laughs> Calm down, you're just a bit tipsy. Shut up. I pause. Tipsy? Oh, buzzed. Right, I'm just... Oh, crap. Just get over there. I surprise myself, briskly taking strides to the counter. I find the act curiously challenging and amusing. Each step I consider rather silly in its shakiness, and I begin wondering about how people learn to walk at all. It is not how my thoughts usually go, I think. I can't quite remember what I usually think about right now. I'm not drunk. I have an idea of what that is from looking, and this is not it. Ah, right, I am tipsy. Goodness, I'm unbalanced. I start slowing near the stools and suddenly break out in a cold sweat. I am not good with people. So what am I doing? So what am I... Eh. I am not good with people. So what am I doing about to talk to a man? While I'm considering this, the order to stop is not processed physically. I step right down... I sit right... Yeah, sit right down next to the gentleman as if it is the most natural thing in the world and we are the oldest of pals, strong ties, bonds formed from years of manual labor and fears. I wonder how much alcohol I actually drank. Enough of this, engage the man by his eyes. Yes, like that, like in the books. Hmm. Lean forward and get him a closer look into Harrison. Well, isn't he scruffy, almost in admirable way. His cheeks and chin are dashed all over with stubble, and his eyes are soft and, cl soft and caring. He vaguely reminds me of a father I knew that was not mine, but a classmate's. I open my mouth and ment tal eh. I open my mouth and mentally say hello, but the order is again not actually processed, so I'm just hanging my jaw and stare. He notices. Hello there, miss. Uh, hello. There's all I can do to say this. I fail to keep his attention and his eyes return to the television above the bar. Television. That's right. They have that here. It seems to be a sports channel that he is watching. Not that I know which. I only know it is a sport as there is a ball, there are people, and both are on a field. Oh. And it seems to involve only sculpted men, a particularly intimate sport. Wait, I'm overthinking it. Though I do believe that... Most sports have a peculiar and exciting kind of subtext. This one, I think I could practically like to watch, or particularly like to watch. You're a little young to be here, aren't you? Yes, I am. I am 14, I should not be here. I am here with my d uncle. My dad would never bring me here. My uncle, my uncle is here and brought me here while he's on break. Right, to mention work. Where is he? I point to Cyrus, who is now talking amiably with the other man in the corner. Goodness, such fast friends. He's the younger, ornery looking person. The old man chuckles, and I smile as though I've made a joke. Interesting word choice, girl. I read books. That's so. It is so, very much so. I read a lot. Hmm. Is he celebrating the good news? Or did he? Well, that's some news. Ah. Do you mean minimum wage increase, sir? Yes, great news, isn't it? He grins, I mirror him. It is, I'm glad. You working yet? 
this, um, yes, it is work that I am doing, granted unpaid, I am learning. Yes, I just started a little while ago. I see. Well, welcome to the workforce, young miss. Have you gotten your first paycheck yet? No, not yet, and my name is Winter. That should have been two sentences. Nice to meet you, Winter. I'm David. I've stopped speaking. I don't know why. It's almost as though anything I say won't make any sense, so, I sh so I've shut up. He does not speak either. The quietness is getting to me. Isn't there something I can say? Anything? What can I say? No. I'm lost. This is a terrible feeling. Like I'm drowning in air. Think. Think. There must be something. What? You okay? Huh? Oh no, I'm panicking. You could tell, that's bad. Is this because of the alcohol? It must be the alcohol. I'm, uh, yeah. Speak. So do, what do you do? Like for work. Like for your work, I mean. Yeah, you know. How about at the wharf, head down into the mines, fit auto parts. That is amazing. <laughs> amazing. No, no. When you get older, you'll have to run multiple jobs too. Just about the only way to survive these days. How about you? What do you do? Oh crap, what do I do? Oh, why didn't I think of something first? Stupid, stupid, stupid. I shut my eyes for a second and give a quick shake of my head. Uh, um, what do I do? Well, I guess I could technically be considered a... I'm a counselor. A counselor? Y yes Huh. Please let that be an acceptable job. Doesn't really seem like something that suit you. No offense or anything. I didn't really choose it. He gives me a somber nod of recognition. Yeah, you gotta take what you're given. Yes. I suddenly feel miserable and decide to lean onto the counter. I rest my head, lift, letting the fluff of my hair and sleeve serve as a pillow, and I look away from David. That's right. I didn't really choose it. I didn't really choose anything. As illusions come across, I just sat on my hands, thinking, I don't know, thinking that something would come to me, in a sense. I suppose that something did, but it wasn't in the usual way. Everyone else knew what they wanted to do after secondary school, and I was stuck on the path of a freeder. A freeder. A step away from a leech. Ugh. I couldn't pick a specialty school. I didn't know what I wanted. School mediator mediatorium, huh? What is this school? Why had I never heard of it, yet somehow my parents weren't surprised by the name. Why was I chosen? What's more? How? I never applied to this thing. Why did I get accepted to go? I guess I was just happy that something had been found for me. And the system always knows best. I mean, it's not as though I dislike it. I find the classwork and homework more than bearable. And my first shadowing went okay enough. But is this what I am? Is this what I'm meant to do? Oh, this is stupid. What am I thinking? The oligarchy is infallible. They never make mistakes, therefore this must be what's right for me. Even if something about it is totally weird. Call. What's my issue? This is better than what? This is better than what would have happened. When did I start caring so much about my direction? Wait, what am I thinking? I'm supposed to care about that. Still, why should I? How should I know the way to forge my life's path when I'm just 14? I don't even know what I'll be like in eight years. I shouldn't have to care about this now. No, this is really messed up. I'm so messed up. Hey, hey, don't get like that. I'm sorry I brought it up. Can I get you something to drink? I turn back to glance at David. My nose tips, or my nose tip brushes against the cloth and sending a tingle across my face. Seeing him, I remember again, I'm in another world. As if I didn't have enough worries back home, now I have a whole new world to worry about here. Another world which I had never heard of, but I'm supposed to believe is real. Just because things are here right in front of my eyes? So much strange stuff has happened to me that maybe I could just be dreaming. Is this man even real? Is he really there? Maybe he isn't. I've read there are delusion or illusions. Would I prefer an illusion? Would I prefer this to be a dream? Maybe some sort of virtual reality? This whole idea is so ridiculous. What's worst of all, I find myself rather on the fence about his offer for a second drink. It would not be bad, actually, to forget who I am for a little while. Perhaps longer. It would be natural. No, it it would also be dangerous. Now I force the darker notions aside, steady the course. 
I draw my head back.